Hi guys and welcome to my channel Plant Based Sweetheart. My name is Mary and today I'm doing something a little different. Honestly, I've been so busy. If you've noticed, I haven't uploaded in a few weeks. It's just been crazy and um, I've had this recipe video. I wanted to share it with you guys, but I haven't gotten around to get a little dolled up to be on camera. So I decided to do a little something different and just do a voiceover for you guys um, trust me I'm sparing you I'm looking like a tree monster right now so just enjoy this lovely picture of this yummy recipe that I'm about to share with you if you're wondering what it is it's a piggyback off of monkey and me's Italian bake recipe I kind of simplified it even more I mean their recipe is not complicated let me put that out there it's delicious. It's got a lot of flavor, a lot of veggies. I just simplified it by using beans and no other veggies, but you guys, you can add whatever you want. This recipe is not picky. I just made it very simple. So if you're in a rush and you don't know what to do and you have rice, you can put this on top of rice or you can eat it kind of like a chili. It's your world, do you? It's gonna be amazing. Let's go over the ingredients. As always, the full recipe will be down below in the description box. For this recipe, you will need cannellini, kidney, and garbanzo, aka chickpeas. However, like I said in the beginning, this is not a finicky recipe. You can use whatever you have on hand. If you don't like one bean, use another. If you don't like beans at all, just use all veggies. It's up to you. But this is how I made it and it came out so good. Next, you're going to need fire roasted tomatoes. The fire roasted tomatoes really add an extra layer of flavor, so I wouldn't skip out on this. If you just have diced tomatoes, it's all good, but if you can, use the fire roasted. You will also need some red pepper paste and tomato paste. As you guys know, in my last few recipes, I've been using a lot of red pepper and tomato. You will also need some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper are to taste. And if you are salt free, of course, leave it out. And you know my new obsession with Aleppo pepper. You know I had to add it in this recipe. It's so good. If you haven't gotten your hands on it, you should because it's so delicious. It really elevates every dish. Like, I can't get over it. I'm using a glass Pyrex, but I mean, you can use whatever you have that's kind of deep. And um, the glass works because it won't stick, so keep that in mind. To start off, make sure you rinse and drain your beans and set them aside. Next, get your fire roasted tomatoes. And after this, I'm gonna say it's pretty much gonna happen fast add the tomato add paste and pepper paste and give it a good mix I was trying to do it in the can because I really didn't want to I don't know I honestly don't know but give it a good mix you don't want chunks of the tomato paste and red pepper paste once it's well incorporated I did it in the can in the Pyrex to kind of not make a mess but as you can see I dumped it all I don't know where I was going with that but this recipe, what I love about it, it's all done in one pan. You don't get too many things dirty. So you just wanna make sure that it is all well incorporated. As you can see, I'm spreading it out to make sure there's no chunks of red pepper or tomato paste. Next, I'm adding the onion powder and the garlic powder and kind of just spreading it all over. That way when I give it a good mix, it will mix easily. Um, let's make this a drinking game. Every time I say mix, have a drink of water. All right, and as you can see, I'm adding my Aleppo pepper, the good stuff very simple recipe as you can see and again 
feel free to add vegetables in, um, whatever you'd like, it's all good. And just make sure to mix it all up really well before you add the beans. And here goes my beans. I mean, look how easy this is. Mix, mix, mix once again. Now that everything is mixed, I'm going to cover it and um, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. We're not looking to cook it because obviously the beans are cooked, but rather that they soak up the flavor and, you know, get all that goodness in. And meanwhile, I'm going to cook some rice, as you can see, because that's my favorite thing is to add rice and have it with something saucy. It's my favorite thing to do. And once it's cooked for about 20 minutes, you're going to uncover it and put it back in the oven for about 15 more minutes. And I like when the, some of the beans get a little crunchy. It's so good. And here is my, I guess I'm going to call this, um, bean bake um, like I said it's a piggyback ride or piggyback off of monkey and me's recipe their recipe is amazing you guys should check it out it's called their Italian bake I kind of did something similar but simplified it I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below if you make it and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and hit that bell for further notifications and i will see you guys soon with a new recipe thanks for watching